Cancer, it's me, Stormy, and here's your horoscope for August 2018. And Cancer, this month is such an interesting month, I think, for you, because not only are we coming out of and coming into the month on still a lot of retrograde energy, which has been very rest and retreat, we do have some planets that are going to move into direct status th this month, which is great because it's going to help us move things forward, but it's not until really the end of the month. But from beginning to end, what seems to be on your agenda are things of value. There is a value question happening for you, whether this is the value of money. So we're re-looking at finances or value of intimacy or value of your values, your beliefs around your values. It's all a question of value that seems to be happening this month for you over and over and over again. And it is in connection to your partnerships. So let's jump in here and talk through this month, okay? Right at the beginning of the month, on the 6th, we've got Venus moving into the sign of Libra. This is going to light up your fourth house. This brings harmony. This brings diplomacy. This brings that question of value to the table. When Venus is moving through that fourth house space for us, it's secure our security, our needs. Venus is an energy of, I need to have these needs met as well. So it's a very home, family, security, foundational. So this is a very home, family, foundational kind of energy coming to the table. Now, one of the things that could be happening because Venus is not retrograde, hey, right? You could be moving. You could be making a move here. You could be changing your house around. You could be redecorating. You could be selling things. You could be deciding to work from home. Something like that could definitely be coming to play as we're looking at this beginning of the month kind of energy. Now, on the 7th, Uranus is going to go retrograde in the sign of Taurus. So again, this is in a value energy. And one of the places that I think that it brings up some questions for you is where you are aligned with social groups, where you are aligned with your friends. And I think it will also pose the question of where you are just in your technological life as well. So it could be a time where you're upgrading equipment or something like that. It could also be because Uranus is the planet of surprise, a friend comes back from the past. Something like that could definitely be on your radar. Now, on the 11th, we've got a new moon partial solar eclipse happening in the sign of Leo, so lighting up your second house. This is here with the sun, with Mercury, who's still retrograde, so lots of planets giving energy to this second house energy. Now, the second house energy, this is the place of where we make money, right? How you go out into the world and you get money. You are earning money from this particular area of the chart. Part, okay, now Mercury remaining retrograde here until the 19th, Mars being retrograde um, in your seventh house until the end of the month. This is telling me that something in a relationship that you have, whether this be a professional relationship, a romantic relationship, something like that. You've got some financial changes that are coming, so a financial vision that you're moving towards, something like that. It could also be a time, I would think with Mars being in that seventh house, that this is a time where if in a relationship, let's say it's a business partnership, you have a financial leak or something like that, or you're not making enough, or whatever it is, you may be reevaluating evaluating what that needs to look like inside the partnership, which of course could also relate to a roommate situation or a spouse or something like that, a committed relationship, okay? Now, when we get to the 12th of the month and we've got Mars over there bringing that energy into Capricorn, it's now lighting up seventh house. So re-looking over this relationship, where's your action, where's your attitude, where's your desire in your relationships, right? Where's your movement in these relationships? So it'll be time to reevaluate those things. But it's really nice because this solar eclipse is where we plant these seeds of intention. So you've got a nice new beginning to see how do I make money? How am I doing these things? How does that connect to these relationships? If you guys have just been out there, if you're in a relationship or you've been dating someone and you've been spending money like crazy, maybe money you don't even have, you'll need to relook at and to reevaluate that, okay? Now on the 19th, like I said, Mercury is going to come direct in that sign of Leo. So the second house, this could bring an opportunity to you. This could bring income your way. This could bring that decision to work from home, do something that brings you an income um, in a way that you certainly were not doing it before, okay? 
So when I look at this and I look at um, the fact that Uranus is also retrograde up there in that 11th house space, I'm wondering if you don't find a way to make money online or you you become a part of something that is a different way of making money and adding value to your life than I think you were before, okay? On the 23rd, the sun is going to enter into the sign of Virgo. On the 26th, we've got a full moon in Pisces. Now, remember, the full moon says that something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. There's going to be a shift here. And in the sign of Pisces, you may be um, changing up something in your faith. You may be changing up something in your education. Oh, I'm wondering here, too, because that Mars is retrograde, um, and at the beginning of the month, it's in the eighth house instead of the seventh house. If at this point, at the end of the month, you know, are you trying to pay for school? Were you trying to get a loan for a business? You're trying to get a loan for that new house you might be moving in. Is there something going on with your partner financially? And with this energy, um, you're willing to take a little bit more of a risk. You're changing something. You're getting money to fund something or something like that. Now, Pisces energy is very giving. It's very servicing. It's very compassionate energy. So this could also be that at this full moon, you're realizing that you're done with school. Maybe school's coming to an end. Maybe you're finishing up a training program. Any one of these things is absolutely an available option for you um, in terms of the ninth house energy. Now, at the end of the month, on the 27th, Mars comes direct and out of retrograde. And thank you, goodness, so that we can get on with moving forward. I don't know about you, Cancer, but I am ready for some let's move forward. And we'll have the opportunity to do that as we get to the end of this month, move towards September, October, November, get the opportunities for us to rock our worlds. But this month, I really want to tell you that I feel like the focus is on look at the things of value, how you're making money, how you're spending money, how you're connected to money, um, skills or talents that maybe you've been sitting on that you haven't actually been using yet. Let's reevaluate those things this month, Cancer, because that's really where the heat of the fire's at and the relationships that you have in your life that are supporting you or not supporting you in meeting that mission or those goals, okay? All right, Cancer, I'm sending you so much love. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next month. All right, beautiful?